are back on part two of, I already forgot what episode we're on. <laughs> episode 11. 11! Of On Bullshit. Alright, so, I said this off the air, but my dad asked me a question today that, like, kind of broke my brain a little bit. Yes, what question was it? So, like, recently my mom was diagnosed with diabetes. It's mm. very mild. She just has to, like, watch what she eats and keep testing her blood sugar. Um, I decided today to test my own blood sugar and test my brother's because he's terrified of the little lancet needle. So, like, I did the whole thing. I had his finger and he's, like, trying to jerk away from me. I'm like, you're literally not going to feel anything. I'm just going to tack. Oh, <laughs> gosh. So, he, he, I poked him and he's like, oh, shit. And, you know, that was that. I took his blood sugar. It was fine. He. It's not as bad after. Yeah, it's not that bad. But, like, if you poke the same spot repeatedly, of course you're, of course you're gonna, you know, <laughs> feel it or whatever. Your fingers are gonna look like pink cushions. But if you don't have to do it <laughs> repeatedly over the day, if you only gotta do it, like, once a day, you're fine. I was just gonna say, like, quick interruption. I You always have to get your finger prodded if you get blood, so I am completely used to it. For real? I, like, I it's care. not that bad. You literally feel it for less than a second. Yeah. And then you're fine. You squeeze your finger, pop out, and then you're over it. Yeah. So, like, we did all that. I tested my blood sugar. He tested his. Everyone was normal because we'd eaten already, so we already had, like, the blood sugar or whatever. Mm-hmm. My dad got home later, and my mom went off to do something. He's sitting next to me, and he turns to me, and he's like, is there any chance diabetes is just in your mind? Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm just like, a... what? No, 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 not at all. And I had to explain to him, okay, 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 okay. It is completely physical. Mm-hmm. When you eat food, whether you eat a lot or a little, your food is going to turn into what we call sugar in the body. Right. So that that gives your brain the signal, oh, hey, there's fuel that needs to be absorbed. I didn't use long words with him. I just explained it. But, like, you know. Yeah, you can get I the told him across. That, gives, that makes your brain tell your pancreas, hey, make insulin. Yep. So we can absorb this glucose into the blood. So, like, when it's been longer or you're fasting and you take your blood sugar and your blood sugar is high, that means that you're in, you're not producing enough insulin to absorb the glucose into your body, into mm-hmm. your muscles, and then, like, to all the cells that need it. So, no, it's not in your mind. It's a completely <laughs> physical, you know, mechanism. So, so I guess <laughs> my question is... Was he asking it in the sense that, like, he just didn't know about it? Or was he asking it, like... Was he was asking mom... in the sense of, is your mom being overdramatic about being sick? Oh, okay. No. That's, that's no, not she is not. <laughs> I was just like, it, it, like, blew my mind. Like, how could you think... You know for a fact that my mom's grandmother had to have a leg amputated because of her diabetes. Right. You know that my mom's grandmother died because of her diabetes. How could you think this is not a physical problem in the body? <laughs> that is a bit odd. I just like <laughs> sat there for a minute like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I actually, I, I may be able to top you though. Uh-oh. One of my mom's co-workers, I'll just do this real fast. So, I, I don't remember how they got on the topic. She was, ta- I guess someone had, uh use the word boner and she didn't know what a boner was or, Uh-oh. <laughs> or she didn't quite you know i, I don't she know she didn't everyone, have the context well everyone was kind of laughing about it and uh it turns out she thought it was called a boner because she believed there was actually a bone in the men's penis oh god <laughs> <laughs> and everyone apparently just stopped and looked at her and wondered, like, how have you had sex and you don't know this? If she, there's a bone in there, why is it floppy? She thought, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess she thought, like, it just kind of retracted. And, like, when you got erected, like, it just That's popped. what a dog does. <laughs> the, I mean, the dogs do have a bone. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> like polar bears, apparently. Yeah. But, but, yeah, oh like hu- like the human male, no, it's <laughs> just muscle, but... <laughs> she thought it was literally called boner, because... <laughs> there's a, a bone, bone in the penis, yeah. 
Oh, God. And apparently this went on for years, so I guess it was a good thing they corrected her right there. But anyway, I thought, yeah, that was just so unexpected. That's embarrassing. Yep. I would hate to be her. This is why I don't name names, but... <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better. <laughs> Only slightly. There you have it. Shit. What should we talk about now? <laughs> Man, there, I, I don't know. There's there's so much going on. Like, I legitimately... Now, obviously, I've been on vacation, so I missed yeah. a lot of stuff because I was not paying any attention to the news. But besides... Okay. We're Besides all the shit with Trump and all that thing. Yeah, but I guess we kind of have to talk about that, so... He has pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Okay, there, there's a good one. That, that was just this week. Yeah. Last week he did his whatever trip to... His world place. tour. Yeah. His, his tour of, like, the uh, homes of the three re- world religions, the Abrahamic religions. The, the creepiest <laughs> visits that I've ever seen in my entire life that yeah. I didn't even want to read about. I, I guess, okay, we'll, we'll focus on that real fast, but I was going to say, did you see his picture of him and, like, uh, CC from Egypt and, oh, I forgot the king's name now, Saudi Arabia. The three of them standing the in front orb. of the orb. Yeah, the white orb. That was creepy. He was fondling it. I, I don't know, like, how none of them or somebody didn't just look at that and kind of go, hmm, you know, I think this is kind of a, a telling picture or something that doesn't come off the way they think it does. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't like they were, like, holding it up. They, they all just... It looked like we're grasping it like they are, you know. And it's trying really, to like, make it hover. Tyrant men, yeah. God, so, no. <laughs> I, I don't think it did any favors for him. And then at one point, Donald Trump gets to Israel, right? And naturally, he was talking about how, I guess, he had just been to the Middle East, and so he, he was glad to be in Israel. And, and You're still in the <laughs> Middle East, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Palestinian and the Israelis all died together, but no, I mean... Some... Did he not have geography classes in military school? I, that's one I will tell you. I've been surprised. A lot of American... Uh, for, for, this is all anecdotal, but from my experience, a lot of people don't realize, like, Israel consists of mi- the Middle East. Oh, God. There's, like... People think the Middle East is literally just Afghanistan. No, 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 no. There are countless countries in the Middle East. All right. And if you go back in time, like, the Middle East was actually extended all the way to India. Mm-hmm. Actually, if you talk, like, the early 1900s, back when the British still had their empire. But, God damn. I mean, even even by today's standards, like, I, I just don't know how you can be president and, like, he would no not, one's informed you. He would not have the knowledge to earn a high school diploma. <laughs> he, I don't know if you saw the video. There was just somebody in the room, and I think it was one of, I want to say it was one of the Trump... The guy that, that just went like, yeah, yeah the literally one face palmed in there. Gave that look of like, Jesus fucking Christ, how? <laughs> like you uncultured swine. <laughs> it was I, I felt for him. I right. really did. Right. <laughs> and I did see that. Just like, oh, really. But like, I didn't want to think about all of his trips. Like the, the most hypocritical world world tour that he has ever done. Well, also his Vatican trip. Like, the Pope legitimately, I think, just fucking got depressed he, after meeting He him. looked like it. He was like, please don't stand closer than that to me. Please don't come near me. Please don't touch me. Please oh, yeah. don't breathe the same air he, that I'm breathing. He basically said the Trump family is insane. Like, it, he, he did it in a nicer way. I can't recall exactly what his words were but it's basically saying they're insane yeah like holy shit literally like <laughs> pope is thinking you're like irredeemable like he was probably thinking have i met the antichrist <laughs> <laughs> it really makes you wonder is trump's name really damien <laughs> well it was the g7 summit like whenever uh he was with the other world leaders at one point i remember he was walking past i think it was the prime minister of luxembourg and pushes him aside so oh, he can stand yeah. at the front to take a fucking photo. Yeah, and when, weren't they trying to take a family photo? Like him and his wife? Well, they were going to... I think they were going to do all the leaders, but I think Trump just still had to be at the front of the mm-hmm. back. So... Even though he's, like, the least... I, I'm not necessarily influential, but the least important one there... Oh, God, yeah, I think it was after the summit was over when, uh, like, Angela Merkel of Germany was like, the U.S. is just no longer a dependable ally. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> and then the coalition of states that has begun right. literally the same day that he, the Trump announced that we're going to pull out of the Paris Agreement, but he's willing to rene- renegotiate. How right. do you fucking renegotiate the, the funds that the U.S. pledged for that agreement do not come straight from government funds. Right. It, they come from, like, independent investors. So, like, those investors can decide to just circumvent Trump and go ahead and give, like, pledge the money anyway. Which I, is what the states are going to do. <laughs> and a lot of companies, which has made me happy, are actually just like, you know what, fuck it. If the administration isn't going to do anything, we're all still committed to green technology. Yeah. And saving the environment, so... Literally, like, does he not realize that fossil fuels and coal are not going to be there forever? They, they are, uh, uh, not, they are not a replenishing fuel source. I don't know if he's just fucking delusional or if he refuses to, or if, you know, he he just thinks, like, lying about it's going to get him votes, but... Probably, or he just wants, even, like, the immediate profit, even though there's, like, not really a whole lot of profit in it anymore. Even the primaries, like, when he said he's gonna bring back coal jobs, there's only, like, maybe 70,000 coal jobs in the U.S., and they're not in coming the back. In the entire country, yeah, right. no. Because renewables are actually competing, and in a lot of cases, beating coal, so yeah, it's not like, like it's gonna become cheap enough to start using coal again. We're not never. going back. I know I saw, what was it? I can't remember where the heck I saw it, but they're like solar panels. Right. They they make clear solar panels that you can just install as windows now. Yeah. And wind farms, we're going to cut down the forest. We have countless fucking empty deserts. Right. That it's not going to require that we cut down a forest because there's already nothing there. Right. And then just get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it, the thing I think that just kind of really pisses me off, I think that just summarizes the whole thing, is, like, we, we really had a chance to become relevant again and become a world leader in green technologies. But now we have handed that to China. Yeah. Now the Chinese are going to be, like, importing... And India. Isn't and India. India moving, like, really fast pace forward with both, green energy? Yeah, both of them. Because, like, outside of the U.S., they were also, I think, the two biggest polluters, or mm-hmm. two of the bigger ones in the world, and... Both of them have just fully embraced green technology. India yeah. dumped coal. Not not entirely, just like China has entirely, but they're both... Like, Pulling away from it. Yeah, and adopting solar like crazy. And yeah. I think probably by the 2020s, they'll both be uh, not majority... But they're probably they're going to greatly but, reduce their yeah. environmental footprint. Well, and they're going to beat the U.S. in terms of emissions oh, for real. anyway. And they're not, you know... They're it's already not beating the U.S., aren't they? Not yet, but they will be soon, yeah. The fact that... The Paris agreements were going to place us ahead, and we we were supposed to be, mm-hmm. if not the most, one of the top uh, carbon reducers in the world of the developed countries. And now, we're... because Trump doesn't represent Paris, France, it's literally <laughs> every country that signed on except for like Nicaragua and Syria because yeah. they're in a fucking civil war. <laughs> yeah, they don't got time to be thinking about like their emissions. They want to just. Get their country under control. It's insane. Oh, I think some of the businessmen in Nicaragua are going to try to convince the president to, to go ahead with it. So well, You know why they didn't sign it? Because they didn't think the rich countries were actually paying enough for their pollution mm-hmm. they were causing. So they actually supported it. They just want stronger regulations against developed countries. So I think one of those businessmen said that they don't want to be lumped together with Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're not it's signed. Weird. I think anytime you're in the same category as Trump, like, you should just rethink your life. For real. How the shit are we out of time already? Man, we blew through both of those topics, like, crazy fast. We really freaking did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would just like to say, though, like, I guess to wind this up, also on Trump's world tour, did you see when, like, he would try to reach out for Melania's hand? And she, and she just, just slapped, slapped it away? <laughs> yes! I, I just, I thought that was the greatest Trouble thing ever. Trouble in Paradise? <laughs> Hashtag trouble in paradise. Oh shit. Anyway, closing remarks. Hmm. Oh hey, we have a Twitter. Oh yeah, we have a Twitter. Jump our, on Twitter, join us. Our our handle is at ABN the Panda. 
We and both have access to it. Yes. I'm the only one posting right You're now. You're the only one posting right now, and they've been awesome posts. Literally, I'm just being a dick, but come on. In in, in the world of today, <laughs> that's the only thing you can do. We're probably going to Trump... We're going to troll Trump, so that's that's something. <laughs> Heck yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Please come back. <laughs> Is anyone listening? Echo! Echo. Marco. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>